Hey, what's going on guys? It is Psycho here and today I'm very excited to bring you guys another video. Today I thought that I would answer one of your guys' questions regarding my computer specs and talk a little bit about computer specs in general for game development. So I'm gonna be talking about what is suitable for game development and actually prove to you guys that you don't really need a NASA PC in order to make a game. So, and I'm also going to give you guys some tips and tricks about how to choose your specs right so that you can actually make a game by the cheap specs that you've chosen. And once again, prove that you don't really need an NASA PC or anything like that to make a game. So without further ado, let's get started. So I really do want to start this video off by talking a little bit about my specs and my personal feelings when it comes to them. So you can see that I have a GTX 950 as a GPU. By the way, all my specs will be linked in the description below and I will have a screenshot right now. So you can see that I have a GTX 950 by Nvidia. I feel like that is very, very good for game, game development. And it's also very nice for gaming. Obviously, you're going to be able to play games on a high quality or ultra quality depending on the you know obviously release time of it and I really feel like it's enough for me I can play games I can make games you know I can always um, find out what is graphically wrong with the game by actually making it into ultra quality so I feel like the Nvidia GTX 9 900 series is just so good um, I could have gotten a 970 or 980 or whatever and I could have spent or actually saved and gotten a 1080 right now but I felt like that would be a little bit too over exaggerated since I'm not a hardcore gamer and I'm not really you know I'm a quality guy I'm a very nice you know I, I always seek for very nice graphics in games and um, especially in the products that I publish but it's not like you know whenever I'm gaming it's not very important that I always play in ultra quality so I didn't really feel like going ahead and over exaggerating and people you know get all these like crazy triple or double you know 1080s whatever that's some rich man stuff <laughs> I'm not very interested in that um, 950 so much enough for me so good and I'm enjoying it so far and I haven't you know experienced any issues with that and obviously Nvidia is just so good I would really suggest Nvidia over AMD or whatever and um, I personally haven't used AMD so I can really tell you if it's bad or not but you know obviously GTX is very good for game development too since I've been using it forever um, since I ever actually started so yeah I would just strongly suggest you some sort of NVIDIA GTX 900 series. If you got, you know, 950 is very cheap, so if you want to go for that, go ahead. I wouldn't stop you. But if you want to go a little bit more ham, you can always do that. And I haven't actually experienced like any lag as soon as I optimize my game. So even if I play with like high shadows and all that, you know, soft shadows and all these advanced settings on Unity, whenever I'm making a game, it always feels so silky smooth and I have never ever experienced any issues with the NVIDIA GTX. 950 so if once again if you want to go for it i would suggest you to do that and it's also very budget efficient so if you don't really have that much money to spend on like a you know 1080 or a single 1080 even so if you don't have that much money i would suggest you a 950 or a 970 depending on the price range that you can go for and now this is some hidden but obvious um, knowledge that comes to what you know that comes in mind whenever you're choosing a gpu or any other computer spec the power supply so the power supply was very important especially for me because my computer whenever i you know i bought this pc i didn't build it so whenever when i bought it it became it came with this like really simple and standard kind of power supply that actually had like 250 240 watts or something so it was really really low and obviously my gta 950 requires like 350 so i had to purchase a new power supply which wasn't really that you know expensive i can't I kind of went budget on that too but you know I could have gotten a little bit more ham w once again and um, I just didn't feel like it but the power supply that I have right now feels really good the, the GPU feels really really good my CPU is still kept at the standard which is the i5 and by standard I mean the one that came with the PC so I haven't changed the CPU yet and I haven't actually to be completely honest I haven't touched any other specs either so all those are same except for GPU and power supply the i5 is very good I'm really happy with it um, I had an i7 before I felt like it was a little bit more smooth in terms of how good you know it was obviously performing 
but i don't really feel like there's any huge difference like it doesn't really bother me so i would really like if i'm going to build a new pc which i really plan on doing i wouldn't really buy any i7 or anything like that i5 is really good for me i'm okay with that so i don't know about you guys but you know if you have any possibility of trying unity or any other game engine on a i7 and compare it to i5 i would suggest you to do so but if you don't, I would really suggest you to keep on going with an i5. And i3 is a little bit too less for me. Um, I don't really feel the same power from i3 as i5 and i7, obviously. But, you know, if you want to go for an i3 and if you're really, really budget, I would suggest you to do so. But then again, if you're going to buy a GPU that is as quality rich as a GTX 950, I would suggest you to go a little bit more ham and just kind of purchase a i5. Because obviously these are not specs that you buy every day. So if you, you know, spend like, a, what, do you, what do you say, like $500 on a, on a GPU or whatever, it's going to probably stay, it's most likely going to stay in your computer for a few years at least before you actually change it up again. And I've also seen that a lot of people are asking me about like their own specs like oh if I buy this like GPU or CPU am I going to be able to develop games uh, like I'm scared is this going to you know enable the game development series of my ch uh, of my um, computer and it's like just calm down like there's nothing so serious about that if, even if you get a low quality low-end PC or whatever you're going to be able to create games and you're going to be able to use these post-processing effects but they are not going to be as same quality as you know if you had a GTX 970 or whatever but then again it's like if you have a GTX 900 series plus I think it's going to be very good for you and to add a little bit more to that I had the GTX 650 by Nvidia um, it was it was an okay GPU but I didn't really feel like using it because you know it was just way too much you know it was just way too less power and um, I couldn't play on ultra quality whenever I, ma I was making a game so I couldn't always see what you know what power my game had in terms of visual quality so I just felt like okay I'm a you know active game developer I'm getting hired by all, like I'm working as a freelancer basically so I'm be being hired by customers and why not go full ham so I saved a little bit of money and got a GTX 950 and obviously with that I got a new power supply that was required and I'm very good with it. So what I'm trying to say is a 650 or 600 series of GTX is not very suggested when you're going to make a game because even if you're like if you're making a mobile game I would understand because it's not using as much power or like quality in terms of visual but when you're making a game that is you know based upon quality and uh, most likely on a P like a console or a PC and it's supposed to be it's supposed to not be cartoon or like toonish or anything like that you should always aim for higher GPU because you're going to uh, your computer is going to require power in order to render all these qualities so uh, you know obviously when you're making a high quality game you also want to check for graphical errors and bugs and glitches and the best way to do that is by checking them obviously and by doing to do so you need a good GPU that can handle all that and once again a good GPU doesn't mean that you have to spend like a thousand dollars right away it just means that you can buy buy a like I bought mine for like what three hundred dollars or something maybe a little bit more because I live in Sweden so it's a little bit changed with um, the prices are obviously changed and I heard that it's a lot more cheaper in US so if you're living in US and you're a lucky bastard you can always get one and I'm sure that it would be cheap for you so just don't worry about what kind of GPU you have as soon as soon as you have a 900 series plus it's going to be good enough for you to run a very high quality game especially if you're making it by yourself I had planned to talk a little bit more about this topic but I now realize that whatever I would say about this further out would just be me babbling so I kind of feel like I could stop this video here but in conclusion don't be scared of getting any 900 series plus GPU. Um, it shouldn't be a problem. CPU, you don't even have to care about that literally. Like even if you have an i3, it shouldn't be a problem. But if you get an i5 or something higher, it should be a lot better. But then again, if you don't have any budget, you can go with a very normal CPU. So anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to Tap Tune for new videos coming soon. Leave a comment what you think about these specs and what you think about my specs. And if you have any recommendations to other people that are visiting this video right now. So if you want to let them know about your specs or anything. 
and um, subscribe to chapter tune for new videos coming soon and i will see you guys in the next video of whatever i make so guys love you bye peace peace Got me in this party all up in a zone Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone Like come and party, I've been trying to shake you off my mind But just can't get you off me, keep it moving They ain't worth it, yeah that's what my father taught me But for now I'm going through the motions of letting go Cause my mind's telling me yes but my heart really don't know Your heart went dark, I didn't know it yet I still see a glow